Are you thinking about moving to Toronto or investing in the Toronto real estate market? Well, in this video, we will go over all the reasons and a quick summary as to why people would want to move to Toronto. And the ones that live here are happy living here and swear by never moving out of the city of Toronto. Let's dive right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Moise Rahman. You can call me Mo if it's easier. I'm the team leader of the Moise Rahman real estate team and I actively sell real estate across the Durham region and GTA as a full-time sales representative. So imagine this. You are commuting on the TTC, Highway 401, or via the extensive bike lanes throughout the city. You grab a quick lunch, could be a sandwich let's say, at the St. Lawrence Market, scavenging for tickets to a Leaf game, Raptors game, or a Jays game, packing up the car for weekends at the cottage, hanging out in the Beaches District, or taking the ferry to the island enjoying a night on the town in one of the city's West End hotspots, or celebrity spotting in Yorkville during the Toronto Film Festival, strolling through Distillery District during Christmas Market with a Balzac's coffee in one hand. We could go on and on, but basically, life in Toronto is never boring. There's a reason why everyone wants to move here, and there's a reason why people call this place home as soon as they move here, they say. So let's go over some Toronto stats at a glance. With nearly 2.8 million residents, Toronto is the most populous city in Canada. Toronto is a powerful business center with amazing tech industries. With more than 50% of the population foreign born, Toronto is one of the most diversified cities. Winters can be harsh. We're actually in a winter storm right now, but not as nearly as harsh as the other cities in Canada. The summers are generally pleasant, with the exception of a few months where it could be hot and humid. The average price of the average home in Toronto is $1,095,617, which is actually down by 17.9% from the same time last year. The average price for condos is $710,520, and the average rent for a one-bedroom condo apartment is $2,500, which has gone up by 19% since last year. So at a glance, here are some pros of living in Toronto. High standard of living. Strong and diverse job market. Very safe for a big city. Excellent hospitals and healthcare systems. Efficient transit system. World-class entertainment. Very diverse culture. Restaurants for every cuisine and every occasion. Lots of parks and trails. Highly rated schools. Now let's go over some of the cons of living in Toronto at a glance. High cost of living. Traffic congestion, long commute times, downtown parking can be expensive. The downtown area is crowded, can be crowded, especially during the rush hours. Homes are considered to be pricey and more than 50% of the millennials worry that they will never be able to buy a home in the current Toronto real estate market. Rent prices continue to increase. Non-stop construction. So folks, there you have it. Everything you need to know about living in Toronto on a glance. Now we have prepped roughly five to seven more videos that are a lot more detailed about this topic. The cost of living in Toronto, the pros of living in Toronto, the cons of living in Toronto, the top neighborhoods, the worst neighborhoods, and so much more. To ensure that you don't miss any of my future videos, please subscribe to my page. And if you find this video helpful, please hit the like icon. It helps me understand tremendously what type of content you're liking. And I can definitely work on creating more content similar to that. So my team and I, every single week, take our time to do complimentary home buying consultations with you guys. If you're thinking about buying a home, but you don't know where to begin, how much it costs, but more importantly, what mistakes to avoid when buying a home that can save you tens of thousands of dollars, you can reach out to us directly at the email in the description to schedule your complimentary home buying consultation done via Zoom. I will see you in the next video. Signing out, Moise Rahman.